what do you take away from this? Disappointment for Brentford or elation from um, the Fulham side? Initially, you've got to say elation for Fulham. Last week, Fulham, in the last minute of the game, lost, drew the, the game to Everton with Beto scoring the goal. This week, late on, they've, they've got the win, courtesy... I'm not even going to call him Harry, Harry Wilson. I'm going to call him Harry Kane. He, he was that good <laughs> in, in the box. Um, and it's a testimony to the belief and the coaching of Marco Silva. And, and I gave um, Thomas Frank credit at half-time. Marco Silva's team continued to do what they did regardless of the state of the game. They got it in the wide areas. They put crosses in, in the box. They try to get numbers in there. And one of the smallest guys on the pitch, Welsh international, who comes on, Harry Wilson, gets his first two goals of the season and gives them all three points. And it's, it's what this league is all about. You cannot take anything for granted. You 1-0 up, you set up, you, you look like you're not going to give anything away. And all of a sudden, a little bit of magic from, from Wilson. It's a whole different game. Yeah, and Fulham had a lot of chances that they missed mm. opportunities, mm. really, in the first and most of the second half, yeah. Danny. Brentford, we spoke about this in our pre-game show. They've had a lot of goals yeah. at both ends of the pitch this season. I said to you, was Thomas Frank bothered about how many they have conceded? No, if it ends up in a mm. win tonight, they will be bothered about conceding those two late. Yeah, I think Thomas Frank, I think his biggest frustration will be they've played 10 games, they've scored first eight times. They've gone on to lose four of those, draw one and win only three. And at one point, you're looking at it and we're seeing the blocks and everything. You're thinking, wow, it's a wonderful shape from Brentford. But you know what it's like when you're used to scoring first and you concede. When you concede that first goal, all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's happening again. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the frustration for them without question. And they need to be able to nip that in the butters in terms of making sure if they score the first goal, they continue and go on to win. It's incredible. You've, you've scored 19 goals in the Premier League and you've got a minus one goal difference. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> incredible. We spoke, obviously, about the, the, the job that they have done, yeah. the two up front with yeah. Brentford. You know, you look at this, Harry's got to be man of the match for coming mm. on late and doing what he did and turning Abs it around. Absolutely. You know, what lessons can you take away from this for those that might sit on the bench and wait and be wanting a chance? You always get an opportunity no matter what minute it's in. More, more, than, ever, more than ever, Cora, this league and this game now is about a squad. It's about people coming off the bench. We often see around the 60-minute mark, managers make two or three subs, and then they've got a couple more that they can gamble on, and that's what Marco Silva's done. I mean, Harry Wilson is the smallest guy probably on, on the pitch, so you're thinking, yeah, let us put crosses in. But the crosses are good enough and the movement's good enough. The two goals has got them all three points. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.